life as an animal is pretty dangerous, but that doesn't seem to stop some animals actively looking for trouble. And in this video, we will be presenting proof that it doesn't matter how big you are, sometimes you can end up biting off way more than you can chew. Literally. From the rooster who took on a scaly monster, to the dog that chose a meal that was way too spicy, here's 20 times animals messed with the wrong opponent. <sighs> Number 20. A rooster messing with an alligator. A rooster is seen perched comfortably on the head of a crocodile in an attempt to cross the river in this 10 second clip. While there doesn't appear to be any issue as the crocodile is happily transporting the chicken over the river without incident. However, as soon as the chicken reaches the river's edge and steps on the crocodile's head, the crocodile jumps towards it, mouth gaping. Understandably fearing the big crocodile, the chicken flees the area pretty darn quick. But are chickens really chicken? Roosters defend their hens instinctively. Roosters do this in a variety of ways, including alerting the hens to potential predators, crowing signals the hens to seek protection from a predator, as well as the predator to the fact that a rooster is guarding his flock. If there are predators at night, or even if there are imagined predators in the night, a rooster will crow. This rooster might want to take a ride on something a little less terrifying than a crocodile's head next time. The highest biting force ever recorded for an animal in a laboratory environment has been proven in a 5.2 meter long saltwater crocodile. It was able to apply 3,700 IBF of biting force, breaking the previous record of 2,125 IBF set by a 3.9 meter long American alligator. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dog trying to catch electric eel. Many species are rare in our daily lives, and the chances of encountering them are slim, but many rare animals have distinct features, such as the electric eel, which is one of the most dangerous freshwater critters on the globe. Even the most vicious piranhas will be terrified of this slippery customer. Electric eels are victorious not because of their size, but because of their ability to discharge high-voltage currents. The electric eel's current is strong enough to kill a cow, the maximum output voltage is 800 volts, a crocodile will be left for dead. Electric eels, on the other hand, are not well understood by terrestrial animals. Including this dog, it seems, the dog was overjoyed when he saw the electric eel and went over to play, perhaps. In any case, he bit it, believing the other party not a danger, and the electric eel sensing the threat, promptly discharged a super current. As a result, the dog was electrocuted as soon as he opened his mouth, and the electric jolt caused him to fall to the ground. When the dog realized what had happened, he bolted. The electric eel can produce high voltage current, but it only lasts for a split second, the voltage will be substantially lowered if the electric eel's physical strength is worn out during the struggle. Number 18. Two Bengal Tigers Fight an Asiatic Black Bear Two mature tigers square up and battle against an Asian black bear in this rare footage. Despite being outmanned, the bear fought back courageously. The fight appears to have started when the Asiatic bear attempted to attack the two adult Bengal tiger's cubs. 
The Bengal tiger is the world's second biggest cat, behind only the Siberian tiger. In South Asia, the Asiatic black bear is the biggest bear species. Although it is commonly believed that humans have no natural predators, the Bengal tiger is undoubtedly an exception. According to studies, more than one million individuals have been devoured by Bengal tigers since 1,500, according to one estimate. According to another source, the human death toll from tigers in India around the end of the 19th century was an incredible 80 thousand people each year. The Champawat tiger was chased and killed by the famed British hunter and tracker Jim Corbett after he followed the trail of blood from the tiger's final victim, a 16-year-old girl, in one famous account from 1907. At least 430 humans were said to have been devoured by this tiger. Humans do not appear to appeal to most tigers as much as deer or other prey, although some have acquired a taste for us. Number 17. Lions Try to Chew on an Armor-Plated Pangolin Take a look at how a pangolin protects itself against lions. The unique armor-plated pangolin had the ideal defense strategy, curl up into a ball and remain there no matter what. The unlucky lion seemed perplexed by its spherical prey, batting it around with its paws and even attempting to hold it in its mouth. When trapped by huge predators like lions, they use their muscles to lacerate their prey's mouths. The animal attempting to eat the pangolin may suffer serious problems as a result of the injuries. Pangolins subsist by probing the nests and termite mounds with their sensitive tongues. Pangolins subsist by probing ants' nests and termite mounds with their sensitive tongues, which may grow up to be 16 inches long and gobble down the insects within. In a single year, a single pangolin may consume up to 70 million termites. They also have an incredible defense mechanism. They wrap up into a tough, scaly ball that even lions can't bite through. Humans, on the other hand, may just pick them up in this form, and this is frequently done, particularly in Japan, where pangolin scales are employed in all sorts of bizarre medicine. With two billion Chinese eager to eat pangolins for healthy blood, the pangolins have little chance of surviving and are already critically endangered. Unfortunately, the more reasonable country of Taiwan has a long-standing pangolin conservation and preservation policy, which has resulted in the world's greatest pangolin population density. Taiwan, you've done an excellent job here. Number 16. Leopard vs. Porcupine a rare encounter between a leopard and a porcupine was recorded in this clip and has piqued the interest of netizens. One Saturday, Internet Forest Services officer Ramesh Pandey shared a video from Uttar Pradesh in which a juvenile leopard and a porcupine are seen assessing each other before making a move. The two creatures are seen on a barren stretch of road after midnight. In the footage, which was shot in the Qatar Niagat Wildlife Sanctuary, Sanctuary. The leopard approaches the porcupine, which spreads its spine swiftly to frighten the animal away. The huge cat, undeterred, crouches low and attacks as the porcupine approaches but fails. The leopard is shown hurriedly rushing away from the porcupine, which is known for its impenetrable spines. According to the Earth Touch News Network, the large cats usually win in porcupine versus leopard fights because they have perfected the skill of porcupine hunting and are able to slip beneath the sharp spines. Porcupines are huge rodents with sharp spines or quills on their coats to defend them from predators. Italy, Asia, Western and Southern, and much of Africa Africa are home to old world porcupines. They are large, terrestrial, and only active at night. Number 15. Eagle vs. Crow Fight 
Given the size difference between crows and eagles, you'd assume eagles would be more dominating. However, as anybody who has ever witnessed a flock of crows pursuing and dive-bombing an eagle across the sky knows, it doesn't always work that way. Why would a smaller bird like a crow risk their life by chasing a much bigger and scarier eagle? Eagles are sometimes regarded as royalty of the bird kingdom, but crows are the jesters. Why do crows swoop down on eagles? Crows do this to keep their nest safe from predators. In areas where their feeding zones overlap, they will often steal food from eagles. A more complete comparison of crows and eagles is required to truly comprehend why crows are able to get away with such dangerous conduct. The common raven is exceptionally clever as evidenced by some famous problem-solving achievements. It has been the topic of mythology, folklore, art, and literature for millennia. The common raven has long been honored as a spiritual figure or god-like creature in many civilizations, including Scandinavian indigenous cultures, ancient Ireland and Wales, Bhutan, the northwest coast of North America, and Siberia, and Northeast Asia. Number 14. Cat vs. Monkey Cats and monkeys occasionally attack each other, but the great majority of the time, the encounter results in the cats being merely irritated by the monkeys. As you can see, this Persian cat knows how to protect his area like a pro. The Persian cat has a round face and a short snout and is a long-haired type of cat. In English-speaking areas, it is sometimes known as the Persian long hair. Around 1620, the first Persian cat ancestors were transported into Italy from Persia. Persian cats have been popular among cat lovers since the late 1800s. They were originally accepted by the English and then mostly by American breeders following World War II. The Himalayan and exotic short hair are considered variations of this breed by certain cat fancier groups, but they are classified as different breeds by others. Breeders' selective breeding has resulted in the production of a broad range of coat colors, but it has also resulted in the creation of flat-faced Persian cats. This head form is popular with fanciers, but it can cause a variety of health issues. Some breeders have attempted to conserve the older form of the cat, the traditional breed with a more prominent muzzle, which is more popular with the general population, as has been the case with the Siamese breed. Number 13. A Dog Got Kicked By A Horse how powerful can a horse's kick be? This canine is going to discover the truth. That horse was as cool as a cucumber, to put it mildly. A simple tap could have killed the dog if he'd wanted to. This dog will remember this lesson for the rest of his life. An ordinary horse can kick with a force of roughly 2,000 pounds per square inch at a speed of around 200 miles per hour. To put that in context, that's more than any professional boxer has ever thought throne, and it's enough to kill someone. That may sound like a terrifying amount of force, and it certainly is. but it doesn't tell you anything about the strength of their kick, how it feels, or the type of harm it may do. Of course, the ideal course of action is to avoid getting kicked in the first place. Cold-blooded horses are hefty draft horses developed not just for strength, but also for the calm, patient temperament required to draw a plow or a big carriage load of people. Hot-blooded like the Akalteke, Arabian horse, Barb, and now extinct Turkoma, horse, as well as the thoroughbred, a breed developed in England from ancient oriental breeds, are oriental horses, breeds with spicier temperaments. So watch out for a kick from those horses. Number 12. Kangaroo vs. Goat 
This YouTube video shows a fight between a huge buff kangaroo and a brown goat. The goat has horns while the kangaroo has muscly, powerful legs, as we can see in the video. Who would have triumphed if they battled to the death and were truly bloodthirsty? All a goat can do is headbutt, and the one in the video doesn't even make direct contact with the pointy end of its horns while charging. A kangaroo fights by grabbing its opponent with their arms and keeps them in place so they may kick them viciously. Dingoes are also drowned by kangaroos by pinning them under bodies of water. Thuru only needs to catch the goat and use its front claws to gut it. It's possible it'll catch the goat mid-charge or simply hop out of the path. Overall, I feel the Roo has a considerably higher ability to cause major damage and hence wins. Kangaroos of all kinds have been seen fighting. Kangaroo fights can be short or extensive and ritualized. Fights are brief in highly competitive conditions, as when males compete for access to estrus females or at restricted drinking places. Both sexes will battle for drinking locations, although males are more likely to engage in protracted, ritualized combat or boxing. Smaller males fight more frequently near females in estrus, while big males and consorts appear to be uninterested. When males are grazing together, ritualized battles might break out unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Most fights, however, begin with two males scratching and grooming each other. Number 11. Dangerous African Cape Buffalo, Black Death, Attacks and Kills Lions in Africa for centuries, the lion has been known as the king of the jungle. Being king, on the other hand, isn't always easy. Even the most lethal top predators may be put to the test when the prey they hunt turns on them and refuses to go down without a fight, as this video shows. While lions typically prey on African buffalo, these animals are also dangerous adversaries. The American buffalo, often known as the Cape Buffalo, has two massive horns and is known known for goring lions severely. The linked bases of the horns produce a continuous bone shield known as a boss, which makes it stand out. This has a high risk of becoming extremely dangerous for any nearby animals. Each year, these creatures are believed to stab and kill around 200 humans, making them one of Africa's most dangerous animals. Because a fully grown African buffalo may be too big for a single lion to manage, lions normally rely on the strength of a pride while hunting buffalo. Buffaloes become incredibly aggressive when injured or threatened, and they display incredible bravery in the face of predators. These massive monsters, weighing between 1,100 and 2,200 pounds, and capable of speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, will strike fear into the hearts of any lion herd. Number 10. Koala Gets Kicked Out of Tree and Cries a much larger bully threw a little koala out of a tree before collapsing on the ground and having a painfully charming tantrum. Warning, it's not exactly the song of a nightingale if you haven't heard a koala scream. The crybaby is shown swinging its arms like an animatronic doll. In the footage, as its alpha rival in the tree overhead growls or bellows. When urged by the man and woman who videotaped the tear-jerking event in Adelaide Hills, South Australia, and published it to the koala Facebook fan page, Cute Koala Kisses, the smaller koala pauses its boo-hooing. The poor little animal has been thrown off the tree. You are welcome to come to our tree, the woman. Alicia Alexander adds, Poor little thing, says the narrator. There are a lot of trees. The koala lives along the eastern and southern coasts of Australia's mainland, in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. Its robust, tailless body and huge head with wide, fluffy ears and a large, spoon-shaped snout make it instantly identifiable. Koalas prefer open eucalyptus woods because the leaves of these trees provide the majority of their food. Koalas are mostly inactive and sleep up to 20 hours a day due to their eucalyptus diet's low nutritional and caloric content. They are asocial creatures who only form bonds with their dependent kids. Adult males communicate by yelling loudly to frighten rivals and attract partners. Number 9. Mother Chicken Defends Chicks from Hawk Attack, Hawk Instantly Regrets 
The hawk tries to steal the chicks for food, but the mother chicken protects her young by assaulting the hawk. Who would have believed it? When the hawk loses, it comes to a halt and mulls over its life choices. The chicken is a domestic bird with characteristics similar to wild species, such as southeastern Asia's red and gray jungle fowl. Chickens were not maintained for sustenance until the Hellenistic period, 4th to 2nd century BC, when they were first grown for cockfighting or special rites. Humans today raise chickens largely as pets and as food sources, eating both their flesh and eggs. Chickens are one of the most popular and widely used domestic animals, with a population of 23.7 billion in 2018. Multiple maternal origins have been identified in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and East Asia, but the clade found in the Americas, Europe and Middle East, and Africa is thought to have originated in the Indian subcontinent. By the 5th century BC, chicken had moved from ancient India to Lydia in Western Asia Minor and then to Greece. According to Thutmose III's annals, fowl have been known in Egypt from the mid-15th century BC, with the bird that gives birth every day hailing from the territory between Syria and Shinar, Babylonia. Number 8. Dog vs. Lizard this lizard, with its sharp claws and deadly teeth, was not in the mood to play with this small puppy. This video, filmed in Brazil and released to Live Leak, demonstrates that this lizard, despite its size, was underwhelmed by this curious small canine. The dog initially notices the lizard reclining in the shrubs, but instead of leaving it alone to its own devices, he chooses to disturb it. After a few seconds, the lizard becomes enraged and starts to attack the puppy, propelling itself at it. What follows is unexpected. As the two get into a minute-long quarrel that finishes with them both rolling down the hill, battling each other, while it appears like the dog would emerge victorious at one point, with the lizard's bleeding head firmly entrenched in its jaws, the two decide to call it a day. We're going to call it a tie. The majority of lizards are tiny creatures, although some are legless, lizards have spherical torsos, high heads on short necks, forelimbs, and long tails. The mature length of varanid lizards in the suborder ranges from a few centimeters for chameleons, like Brookesia micra, and geckos, like Spherodactylus ariusae, to approximately 3 meters for the Komodo dragon, the world's biggest living varanid lizard. Number 7. Green Heron vs. Fish Green herons hunt in a way that is neither pure stalking nor the dynamic method used by reddish egrets. They're one of just a few North American bird species that have been observed using tools to get food. Green herons use a variety of odd eating strategies, including fishing. The birds have even been observed to dive entirely beneath the surface to catch food in the deep water, requiring them to swim back to shore, using the webbing between their outer toes. In the south, this strategy can backfire when alligators feast on the swimming herons. Green herons are monogamous during certain seasons, after an extensive courtship display by the males who pick the nesting locations and fly in front of the female loudly with puffed up head and neck plumage, the couples form in the breeding region. They build their nests in the woods and swamps above water or in vegetation near water. Nests are made out of a platform of sticks that are usually found in bushes or trees, but may also be found on the ground. The preference is for nests to be erected in trees, with some nests rising up to 20 meters above the ground, while heights of several meters are more frequent. Occasionally, vast flocks of these birds cluster in heronries to lay their eggs. Number 6. Lion fails to catch gazelle in epic safari footage. 
During a wildlife drive in the Serengeti National Park, this footage was taken. This gazelle was sipping water alone when it was unexpectedly ambushed by a lion. The lion assumed that the gazelle would follow in his footsteps, but the gazelle was fortunate enough to deviate with an unbelievable juke move. A gazelle is a kind of antelope that belongs to the genus Gazella. Three extant Asian gazelle species belong to a third previous subgenus, Procapra. Gazelles are famed for their speed. Some can run at speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour in bursts, or 50 kilometers an hour on a steady basis. Gazelles are typically found in Africa's deserts, grasslands, and savannas, but they may also be found in Southwest and Central Asia, as well as the Indian subcontinent. They consume fine, readily digested plants and leaves, and live in herds. Gazelles are little antelopes that reach between 60 to 110 centimeters tall at the shoulder and are mostly fawn-colored. The comparison of the gazelle to the beloved is a traditional motif in Arabic love poetry, and linguists argue that gazal, the Arabic term for love poetry, is linked to the word for gazelle. Number 5. French Bulldog Chases Bears Off Property after chasing three bears away from her California home, a courageous little bulldog demonstrated that size doesn't matter. When the bears approached her family's home in Monrovia one Friday, Jules, a 20-pound French bulldog, took her guard dog duties seriously. Despite the fact that the intruders were several times her size, Jules didn't hesitate to charge down the porch stairs and chase him away. The bears, who are thought to be a year old and weigh more than 100 pounds, fight back at first, but one is seen running over a fence to escape the little dog in security footage. She blew me away, her owner, David Hernandez, told reporters. I couldn't believe she turned into a wolverine. Jules' bravery was rewarded with a wash, a treat, and a lot of love from her appreciative owners. Two bears were seen roaming into his yard on security video, while a third rested on the balcony. Out of view of the camera, bears frequent the area around the family's house in the San Gabriel Mountains foothills. According to Hernandez, a wildfire in the region has impacted the bears' food source in the foothills, causing more to descend in quest of food. There's one lady who actually makes them meatloaf, he said, adding that some of his neighbors encourage more visits by feeding the bears. However, Hernandez claims that doing so is unlawful, and that he is not willing to take any chances with two children at home. There is nothing more dangerous in a forest than a mother bear. Nothing, he remarked. Number 4. Rooster and Goat Save Ten from Hawk it's more than enough to have pals that are constantly on your side. After a hawk attacked a chicken, a rooster and a goat ran to its aid. In the heart-pounding footage, they saved the chicken from a hawk that had pounced on it. On Twitter, the video has received 4 million views. The chicken tries unsuccessfully to release itself from the hawk's grasp. Hearing its cries, the rooster is the first to arrive, followed by the goat. They are finally successful in rescuing their comrade from the carnivorous bird. Netizens express their opinions regarding the popular video in the comments. When people argue creatures don't have emotions or feelings, remember that these animals didn't just move to something screaming to cease a loud noise, they bolted in order to save their pal. They knew something horrible would happen if they didn't. Listen to animals because they're communicating volumes to you, remarked one Twitter user. It's amazing how that goat engulfed the chicken and dragged him inside. Animals are more complex than humans realize. That is why they are so unique and deserving of love and respect. All of them, commented another person. Number 3. Tiger Fall From Tree Chasing Monkey 
After being too slow to snag a fast food supper, this tiger falls painfully to the ground. A mother monkey and her young monkey were sleeping at the top of a tree when the striped beast spotted them and decided they'd make a good snack. The tiger decided to make a move and leap forward. After a tense standoff on the tallest branches between the tiger and the monkey, the monkey, however, was in her element up above the dusty ground and was able to dive out of the way and bring her young to safety. Because of the speed with which she moved, the tiger lost her equilibrium and plummeted to the ground, where she lay gasping in defeat. The scenario was caught up close. At India's Jim Corbet National Park by Wild Dog Botsy, a Japanese safari fan and YouTuber, I was the first one to spot the tiger, so I shouted out loud, Botsy, a Tokyo resident, said, as the tour guide and driver hustled to bring us closer to the event, he continued, I began recording right away. We saw the tiger fall to the ground and walk away. It was considerably superior to what we'd hoped to see, and our guide, who claimed to have 16 years of expertise, stated he'd never seen anything like it. Number 2. Mother Rhino Protects Calf From Two Hungry Hyenas a mother's love is often regarded as one of the finest expressions of love. A mother will go to any extent to save or protect her kid and keep them safe from harm. This is true not only for people, but also for animals. We've observed how a mother monkey embraces her kid with tenderness. There's also a video of Mother Elephant thanking locals for rescuing her young elephant from a ditch. Alternatively, there's the footage of a cow pursuing her calf to the hospital, where it was being treated. The event occurred in Kenya's Nakuru National Park. It is a well-known vacation spot for animal aficionados. A mother rhino tries desperately to protect her young from two, then four, hyenas in the harrowing footage. The mother rhino stands between the hyenas and her baby rhino, attempting to drive them away. Despite the creature's best efforts to encircle the mother rhino and her kid, she never gave up. Hyenas attempt to attack on the calf all the time, but the mother rhino swats them away with her powerful horn. In reality, the hyenas try to sneak up behind the mother rhino and attack the calf, but she outruns them and blocks their attacks. Number 1. Crocodile Catches Cheetah a startling video has appeared online, showing a 13-foot crocodile pulling a baby cheetah during an ambush at a watering hole in South Africa. Wild Earth Safari Guide Busani Machali, 30, from KwaZulu Natal, captured the remarkable film while conducting a trip at the and beyond Pinda Private Game Reserve in South Africa. A thirsty cheetah youngster is shown in the video going to the water's edge for a drink, completely ignorant to the fact that a crocodile lurks just below the water's surface. The croc emerges to attack as the cheetah begins to drink water. The cheetah struggles to flee as the ravenous reptile captures it between its fangs. The croc, on the other hand, succeeds in pulling the cub to its doom. The scariest thing is that the water became so calm in just mere seconds after the strike. One user said, That silence was the other cheetahs mourning the loss of their friend, wrote another. What's the biggest mistake you've ever made? Which of these animals had the most to regret in your opinion? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.